For our next part of the bird table assignment, we're going to model the roof component. Now the roof component is a little bit more straightforward than the front component. It has less processes involved in it, but there are a couple of tricky little bits that you need to pay close attention to, including a little 10mm chamfer at the front edge and this little chamfer up in the corner. We're going to start by going into Inventor, selecting to model a new part, making sure we choose metric and millimetre IPT, and choosing create. What we can then do is we can start a sketch, and this time we're going to choose to work on the top. I'm going to spin that round to face me so that the word is facing the correct way, making sure that we still have the work planes orientated the correct way. What that means is we're going to be able to draw the 300 by 320. We're going to use that as our two dimensions. We're going to sketch on that XZ plane. We're going to choose the two point centre rectangle this time. Click a point and click out to the top right. What we can then do is we can dimension this using the verticals and the horizontals. I'm going to start with the vertical here, clicking once and clicking out to the side. Double checking my size as 320, making sure it's 300 along the narrow edge at the top. Inputting that as 320 and then going to the top option. Then I can add in my second dimension. Remember you can add a distance between two lines, so I could add the distance by clicking the left, the right and then above, or in this case just clicking once and clicking above and setting that as 300. I can then finish that sketch, zoom out again, just so that I can definitely see it using my view cube. You can also use the little commands here for zoom and zoom all and zoom window. Now that I have this, I can use extrude and I'm going to add some depth to my object. I'm going to spin this just so we can see how this would look. And what I want to do is I want to make sure I've got the right thickness, the right depth. So checking in my sizes, you can see the distance there between the top and bottom is set at 20. So I again change my size to 20. And once again, it also helps to always try and, where possible, make your extrusion symmetric so that your work planes stay in the middle of your object. Now I have the thickness of the bird table roof. It makes it a lot easier to add the next few pieces. I'm going to spin this round a little bit so that I can view it at an angle that looks a little bit more like it does in the drawing. And I'm going to add this little 10mm chamfer to the front here. Now, as we saw in the previous video for the front panel, using the chamfer command, you select an edge that you want to chamfer. Now, a chamfer is automatically set to be 45 degrees. So I click on that edge. The default setting here is 2, and I want to change it to 10. Now that I have that, I've got that sloping edge. But in order for the bird table to meet properly, if I was to spin it onto its side and just rotate this to show how it would sit on the object, it sits on the slope of the roof. In order for the two parts of the roof to meet, we need another chamfer in here. I'll come out of orbit, reset my view so I can see it correctly. And what I want to do this time is I want to be able to chamfer this bottom edge here. So I'm going to spin it round so I can see that edge. I'm going to add chamfer again. But this time it is greater than the 10 millimeters we had previously. It needs to be the full 20, the full thickness of the material. And I click OK. Now I have that. When I go to assemble the roof, these two parts will be able to meet. And again, I can change my materials to be a wood effect so that it looks more like the real thing.